record. Okay, so here we are in this discussion of Oros, Oros Makifim and Oros Benimim. You know? <clears throat> we understand that Oros refers to the line of the end of Baruch as it's filtered to the extent that we can talk about it. So the aura of the Ein Sof is nothing. It's not a picture, it's not a drawing, but we can try to understand it. So we learned in Shar Akudim, or maybe before that, I remember, how there were two different types of light. There is an or Benimi, the light that's within inside, and there's an or that surrounds it. It's an or Makit. Now this is contained, this is a piece of information which was stained in the letter, uh, the letter Sharim of the, uh, uh, of the Eitz Chaim. Now, I guess the, I don't know really how to draw, and I apologize for the fact that uh, these circles are not really exactly circular, but I want to attempt to try to explain and see if you can understand the uh, differences between these workings, the actual functioning within the Ormaki and the Orpanimi. Now, to begin with, we understand that the Oros, which we could call Naranchi, are usually Naran because it refers to what's inside of us. But Naranchi, these lights, uh, these lights are These lights are three internal lights and two external lights, which are called the Makifim. So the internal light, which are called Nefesh, Ruach, and Neshama, are the Panemius Dikid lights, and the, or, the, the Oros of the outside are called Chai Yechida. But that's for a different subject. Here I just want to look at how it is that these lights work. So we have to start on the left. Unfortunately, I should have started on the right, but I am American and I always start everything on the left, so I'm sorry. The Ori works only with Orbanini. It's not that he's not aware of the Ormaki, but he wants to talk about what's inside of us and how we are made as people in a way that we can relate to easily. So the Orpanimi is a light which you see as we show in this drawing is, is that the or of the Ains of Barhu is in the center of all reality, and all the rest of reality is surrounding him filtering him one filter after another. So the first filter that would be around the Ain Sof is called the Olam Atzilus. Let's see if I got it right. Where is Atzilus? It's down here. It's supposed to be down here. So this Atzilus is the more panemistic alike. It is right next to the Ain Sof, as if it was one with the Ain Sof. Now the next door is Bria, but it covers over Atzilus, and as a result of that, it's outside of it, or further away from the light of the Ain Sof comes in, comes in Yitzira further away again, and then the Sio further away again. Now what I did not draw is that as you move away from a Sia, which is on the other side of the world where we live, we live in Olam of the Sia, is what we call the Madar Hakali, the Madar Hakali. So you move from the east side, that is in other words, there's a Klipa Noga that surrounds this, and as a result of that, we were always attached and, 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 uh, and uh, exposed to the other side. Even though the Klippa Noga is part good, part bad, but because of that, it's, as I said in the share this morning, it's seductive. So here we have the Ain Sof in the beginning, in the very middle. It's in the center of all reality. And outside, as you go further and further into the darkness, let's say this is all light, you get further and further into the world where we live, where we can't appreciate or think of the aid self unless we really have a guide to help us to get there. So then out of, outside of that, you start moving into the world of fantasy, the world of common, not good things, concerns. That's the principle of the Orpanimi. The Orpanimi is the aid self in the center of all reality, everything that grows, everything that lives. And as you move away from the Ains of Baruch Hu, things become more and more physical until you get to the Olam Siya. And you can imagine this same kind of concept being, which we'll show, hopefully, in another drawing, uh, we, which we will show uh, how it is exactly that the worlds line up. But let's look at, let, let's go over here and look at the Ormaki because we under, try to understand this. Now, this is something you could concentrate on, but it's exactly the opposite 
of the word panini. That is in its functioning. How does the world, the, the light work? Now I'm making this up as I'm going along trying to explain it, so please excuse me, because I want to go backwards again. So this is the idea of the aura of the Ain Sof going outwards. And as it gets further away, it gets darker. Now let's look at the opposite is true. Because here we have to see exactly what it is. On the outside of the Ormaki is infinity. We don't know what it is. Closest to that would be the concept of Tzilus. Tzilus would be the next big border to the Ainso. So here now you have something inside. Then you go to the Olama Bria is inside of the Olam Tzilus. Yitzira is inside of the Olam of Bria. And Asiya is inside the Olam of Yitzira. Now this is getting, in other words, in the Makifim, the great light is on the outside. Whereas in the Benimim, the great light is on the inside. Now as you go to the very center, this would be the, the, the area which is furthest away from the Ainsa Baruch. This area is called the Madar, that is the habitation of the Klippa, the Kali. So this area right here, let me see if is there any kind of drawing tool, tool that they had here, I don't know. So I'll just draw it with my hand. This area actually lines up with this area. Now you have to use a 3D dimension in your mind to understand how it is that as you get to here, to this point, in other words, you move from the aim soap and you move out away from the aim soap to what we call the chitzonius, now you can see what the chitzonius are, that you're actually entering into a period and a place, this place right here, if I can make another drawing around it, which is called the Madara Kali. And the Madara Kali in, it exists in between these two forces. In other words, the force of the Ormaki, which is building outwards, and the force of the uh, Ormaki, which is coming from the outside where the Ain Self is, and coming inwards to the same Madara Kali, which is over here. I don't know if that explained anything, but one might want to look at this a little bit.